Hey, good afternoon everyone and greetings from Las Vegas, Nevada. This afternoon I'm here at Area 15. I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of Wink World. Now, I'm not really sure what this is. It is a uh, like a psychedelic immersive art funhouse type thing. I know it's made by, I think the people that made Blue Man Group, but uh, I, I like any sort of immersive art thing, so I'm excited to check this one out. And I admit it in. As you go down the entry hallway, there's a whole bunch of kind of neon paintings over here on the left-hand side. Uh, there's these things you can spin. And that's uh, very tricky. What is it about infinity that makes it so hard to fathom? When you try to peer into the infinite with your rational brain, you just can't quite get there. But if you look at the subject from different perspectives, you might feel like you're getting closer, but still, you're never going to get a really good glimpse of infinity using logic. It seems that our ability to peer deeply into the subject is always hindered by the same thing, ourselves. That is to say that limitations of our finite brains, our, our rational thoughts, our egos, they all get in the way. But what if we try harder? What if we use all of our brain power to try to fathom what infinity is? What happens is something like this. We picture the universe stretching out quite far from where we are, and we're quite capable of picturing it being extremely vast. But somehow, we just can't picture the universe going on forever. We think, how could that be? Surely there's an edge in it somewhere. But then, as soon as we picture it happy, then, we wonder, what's on the other side of that end? And that's when our brains enter into a state that psychologists call... <laughs>
stand clear of the opening doors. Picture for a moment lightning in the night sky. Or a meadow filled with flowers. Seems like beings from the natural world are finite in and of themselves. And yet their mysterious complexity and all inspiring beauty seem connected to extraordinary processes that extend far beyond what our eyes can see. Perhaps the thing we call wonder is really just the glimpse of the infinite that the beauty of nature implies. Stand clear. The doors are opening, and hopefully your mind is too. 
There are several traditions that promote the idea of focusing on your breath as a way of accessing the present moment most fully.
I like that kind of weird modern art, so I give it a thumbs up.